Hello everyone and welcome back to how to use MacroDroid. Today we're going to go over the selection dialog, which is right here on the right. See that little arrow, that blue arrow on the right? When I click on that, it says what do you want to do? We can loop the UI interactions, we can toggle the loop speed, and we can stop everything. So let's go ahead and loop the UI interaction at the top. Alright, now let's say I wanted to make that loop go faster. You can go back to the selection dialog here and uh, toggle loop speed and you can make it faster so we can make it like one and we'll go ahead and loop the UI interaction and see how it goes a lot faster and then of course you can always have it so it stops everything all right so let's go over and how to do a selection dialog all right, so what you do is you go into macro droid now let's go over the difference between selection dialog and the option dialog first option dialog is for three basic ones um you're gonna have to have <clears throat> at least one of them to be like a cancel button so really it's only like two options here and when you click on the on which button you want what's nice about it is you can choose whichever macro you want or even your action blocks so that's nice but when it comes to selection blocks you can actually uh, do a little bit more fun with it so let's do a selection dialog I'm gonna say uh, choose from below all right and then we can have a background color is black text color is white that sounds pretty good now see where it says uh, save selected index and numerical variable we're not going to do that right now. What we're going to do is we're going to do the save the selected value in a string variable. Hit the plus sign on the right. And we're going to do a local variable. And we're going to call that selection. Selection. All right. And everything else looks pretty good. You can change your button style if you wanted to. Um, and right down here at the bottom, <clears throat> it says add item. So let's do, uh, let's do weather. We'll have that for the first one and then uh, we can change the color of that so weather let's do this color that sounds good all right now let's go ahead and add another item let's do uh, how about Spotify all right and we can make that one green because Spotify is green um, how about one more how about um, test macro that could be one of my um, action blocks if I want it to be. We'll make that a different color. All right, and then the last one is we can have a we can have as many as we want, which is great about this thing. How about cancel macro? That sounds good. All right, so we got weather, Spotify, test macro, and cancel macro. All right, now how do you go about doing this? What you do is uh, you go and you in the actions and you go to you type in if and for the conditions you do macro droid variable. Now we just made that um, that local variable earlier called selection. So if that selection whenever you select it, the first thing was what weather. So weather and we can do equals or contains all right so if it if it says if the selection at the bottom see at the bottom see how it says um, empty if the selection is weather then we what do we want to do we want to do an action now um, so we're going to uh, how about we speak text and we say uh, it is currently and then click on the three dots on the right, go into your search, type in weather. See where it says clock weather temperature? You can do that. It is currently 76 degrees. There you go. That sounds good. So now we got weather, All right? Then you do another if one. If the macro droid variable, the selection is equal to, the next one was Spotify, right? 
to Spotify. All right. Um, it's probably better to do contains instead of like equal because equals is like exactly that. Um, so, all right. So now we're going to launch application, select application. And in the search, look for your Spotify. There you go. We're going to force new. We can do both of those actually. And we're going to move that into there. And what was the third one? Third one was test macro. All right. So let's do a contains this time. So you do an add macro, or sorry, the if clause, if the variable, macrotroid variable, selection contains T-E-S-T. -E All right. Um, you also have the, the ability to do um, case sensitive. Uh, so that's fine, you can do that. All right, so now we're gonna do my action block. So action block, go down to um, the one that I told you was the test macro. All right, we're going to drag that one in there. And the final one was cancel, wasn't it? So let's do another if. If the selection, oh sorry, not the, the um, Macadroid variable, if the variable selection contains, the value is going to be cancel. Let's do a capital C. All right. And we're going to go ahead and look for a, uh, how about macro, cancel, where is it at? Cancel macro is the top one, this macro. And let's go ahead and add a pop-up message that says that it um, canceled the macro. So right here, we're going to go to actions, we're going to do a pop-up message. Say uh, macro canceled. All right. And we're going to go ahead and drag that one into the cancel. So this should work pretty well. Let's go ahead and add a trigger. You can do shake device. How about today we do a floating button? All right. Let me show you a little bit about uh, here. I'm going to call this one selection. So let's go ahead and change the icon to whatever we want. And I'm going to make it small. Now, one nice thing about uh, when you force the location. All right, see where, where I'm tapping here on the left? See right there? That is, this is a 1080 by 1920 screen. All right. So 1080 across, 1920 down. So let's go ahead and say it's 1000 by 2000. So zero over here, that is the left side. And all the way to the right side, that is 1000, right? Or 1080. And then you have your top, was zero at the top, where I'm pushing up top. And then you have 1920 which is at the bottom or I can say 2000 so if I wanted to be on the right side 1080 would be the whole right side so let's say about a thousand all right and then if it's 2000 um, from top to bottom that means um, that that would also be about a thousand so let's go ahead and see where that comes up uh, I'm going to call this whatever I want. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. All right. There we go. See how it popped over there on the, on the right-hand side? Now let's check out and see if I got my selection dialog. Sure do. Top one is weather. Because the variable has to be contains. Remember how I told you, you had to be contains instead of equal? So let's configure that to... 
selection, we're going to do contains for that one. And we're going to do the same thing for Spotify. Contains. All right, let's try that. It is currently 76 degrees. Perfect. Let's launch Spotify. Good. Let's, macro is working. Good. And we got cancel macro. Pretty great, right? All right, guys. I'll catch you later. Till the next one.